The month of March means spring break and a trip to the beach for many college students, but Marion University challenges students to consider an alternative. Rich Nye joins us live in studio tonight with this unique story of a group of students who traveled south to Puerto Rico this week to serve. Rich? Well, almost six months has passed since Hurricane Maria, a Category 4 storm, ripped apart Puerto Rico. The storm killed at least 60 people and left widespread destruction. A group of Marian students are giving their spring break this week to work at a church camp on the island. Spring break on this beach on the southern coast of Puerto Rico is not about college fun in the sun. I'm giving up a spring break, but um, I'm also getting a better spring break at the same time. Senior Billy Cross is a student leader for a group serving at Camp Caribe in Juan de Diaz. Senior Kaylee Bluffman took this trip last year, before Hurricane Maria. I was supposed to go on a medical mission trip, and that got canceled um, the week after the hurricane. And so once I found that out, I kind of just knew that Puerto Rico is where I was supposed to be. We really believe in service and the, spirit, the spiritual awakening that can happen by walking with others. Last year, junior Maggie Verheile worked at an orphanage in Guatemala. They really just showed me how to live my life and how to live it simply and live it day by day. She expects another life-changing experience in Puerto Rico. We're going into a place where many people are hurting. Their life does not look like ours does here. So I am looking forward to hearing their stories. Solidarity, their story is our story, is the theme of Marion University's alternative break. Love your neighbor as yourself. And it's when we go, we're not only understanding like how we do service, doing service together um, in the autonomy of the group, but also understanding how do we bring it back and reflecting on it. They come back with an idea of how very blessed they are for all the blessings they have. Secondly, they have a, a, a deeper idea of the cultures of other people and what other people can offer them. And I think there's, in almost everyone who's ever gone, there's a passion that they want to continue to help make the world better. And in all 40, Marion students are serving on alternative break trips in Puerto Rico, Appalachia, New Mexico, and Guatemala. That's pretty cool. Yeah, imagine this would be pretty expensive, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, about $1,000 for this Puerto Rico trip, and they can get some grants through the university to help offset those costs, but the students do a lot to raise their own money, and so there's sacrifice there as well. Yeah, we both have a freshman in college, right? I'd love my son to be willing to take a trip like this. Yes, what's he doing for spring break? Coming home and yeah. playing video games. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My daughter's coming home, yeah. too. She, she wants to fly home. She's going to be driving. Yeah. <laughs> My kids are all graduated and working, so they yeah. can't go on. They're paying their own They're bills. They're paying their own bills. I That's like right. that. And Off the payroll. Right. And according to USA Today, about 16% of that island is still without electricity. It's about 200,000 families and businesses without power. It was the worst hurricane to hit Puerto Rico in nearly 90 years. So, Andrew